Okay, so here I've been working on my channel, updating it because I've decided to move from the Nintendo direction into more of a Blizzard related direction because, you know, those are the games I grew up with. Those are the games I'm big on. As you can see, I haven't had the time to redecorate the background. I haven't even had time to do the sweet channel trailer, literally sweet channel trailer I'm planning to do because this amazing news just came out. News that I'd like to say, like, I've predicted because we were talking about it on our podcast, but really I haven't predicted this. Any fan of this game has always said, oh, they're going to make a, uh, a new one. They're going to either uh, redo Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is the game in question, by the way. They're either going to redo Diablo 2. They're going to remaster it. In my mind, if if when I was thinking of a remaster, they like I was thinking more of like Age of Empires 2. If you've seen Age of Empires 2, the way they remastered that game, it used to look like old and like ran on terrible resolutions, and then they just polished it. Still looked like the same game, they just upped the resolution, tweaked the graphics a bit, and updated the gameplay. That's why I imagine for Diablo 2. Wrong! They did so much more. And it's actually coming out this year, which is incredible. And my jaw was on the floor um, when I was learning about this. And, and, well, let's just jump into it and you'll see why my jaw was on the floor. Look at that. Even just the picture of Diablo and his dark wanderer robe. There's the, there's the part where his soul stone was in his head. Although, I guess this would kind of be Diablo, like the wanderer. Cause he had this stone in his head when he's when you're following around like Act Three and all and and even in the even in the cinematics for Diablo Two. So I don't know what this is about. This is like right before he sheds it off and turns back into Diablo. Spoilers, I think they actually put a trailer for it out. I'm surprised they even announced it in the same year they're going to release it. Blizzard is a track record of just saying, oh, we're going to release this game, and then five years later, you get that game. Okay, I guess I'll just play it, and and uh, you'll probably want to go watch the whole trailer by yourself with no Chris Reacts video or whatever, or anyone reacts. Like, just sit back and enjoy it, but let's go through it, and, and if I want to, like, pause it and talk about something, I will do that, and... Uh, that's if I'm not distracted by how amazing it looks and we just watch the whole thing through, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh. Though this be our darkest hour, it may yet be your greatest moment. Look at that. Holy. Mm. It looked so good. This is like what Diablo 3 should have looked like. It's still dark and gritty. Mm. All the spells look so good. Mephisto! Like, come on. Not even death can save you from me. 2020, oh, it's coming out this year. And on console too. Just look at these shots. Look at that. It's like they didn't, they updated it. They switched like the art style a little bit, but like it's still got, it looks like it still has that same feel. There's one where it showed. I saw the inventory somewhere. Oh, there it is. That's the console version, but it looks like they didn't do 
Well, okay. The, the skills are laid out a bit differently than it was in Diablo 2. It's going to. There's going to be some quality of life things they switch, but I don't think it's going to be like Diablo 3 where you just go to town and you switch your skills out and stuff like that. I hope they make it how Diablo 2 initially was, where you have to, like, I would have giant sheets of paper just, like, planning out my character where each individual stat needs to go because if you screwed it up, you would have to stop and remake that character. And I'm actually hoping I'm hoping that they like bring it back the way it was, like with all the rune words and, and not try to add too much to it. If it is exactly like the same gameplay experience that Diablo 2 was, then maybe the people that played Diablo 3 will finally realize why the fans of Diablo 2 didn't like Diablo 3. Because I'm imagining a lot of people that played Diablo 3 haven't played Diablo 2. I mean, a lot of people have played Diablo 2 and played Diablo 3, but a lot of, like, the hardcore fans of Diablo 3, like, they just don't know why it's so different. I need, I mean, my buddy Steve, who's on the Quest and Coach podcast with us, he hasn't played Diablo 2, loves Diablo 3, and can't understand why we think Diablo 2 is so much better. Oh, he might have played it. I'm not sure. I didn't do much research. I just saw this and, and wanted to gush about it. Um... But it looks just incredible. All the characters. Where's the one? The necromancer. He looks just as dreadful as he needs to be. Each class in Diablo 2 Resurrected has access to 30 unique skills. Which hero will you choose? That's pretty much how many skills they had in Diablo 2. I'm surprised they're releasing this like right before Diablo 4. It's going to... I can't see myself wanting to play Diablo 4 if this is out. I'm just going to play this non-stop. World of Warcraft, um, on a little bit of a tangent, uh, World of Warcraft, I've put countless hours in it, and you could put, like, slash play on it, and it tells you exactly how much time you've wasted in World of Warcraft, uh, well, wasted is a term that, I think if you're having fun, the time's not wasted, but it, it does tell you how much time you've put into it, and it was a lot enough to make me go like, whoa, maybe you should actually focus on school and, you know, socialize a bit, go out. And this was in high school, of course. Um, but Diablo 2, by far, is the one thing I've put way too much time, way more, probably four to five times as much time as I put into World of Warcraft. I just made character over character over character, ladder seasons after ladder seasons. I mean, when I first got the game, I didn't even have a computer strong enough to run it, so I didn't even dare try hardcore. So by the time I was able to play hardcore, like on a good computer, then I started to play hardcore a lot. Never got very far on that. Um, I was in a clan with a guy that got to level 91, and he was at the top of the paladin uh, ladder for hardcore, which was pretty badass. But um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm gonna be making countless videos about this um, going forward. Uh, there's so much to say. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to play this with people. I want to stream this with my buddies. I mean, uh, I'll be getting it on PC for sure, but my buddy's an Xbox gamer. He'll get it on Xbox, and it'll be fun to play the console version with them and hopefully stream that. It's on Nintendo Switch too, which that's pretty cool. I mean. It doesn't, I mean, the graphics look amazing, but yeah, I guess the, it, it would probably look pretty good on the Switch. The Switch can handle this. There's not a lot. It's, I mean, it's night and day compared to the old game, but yeah. And yeah, even if they, there's no way they're going to, how could they ruin this? It looks so perfect. It looks like love was put into this. And I will put lots of my love into playing this game, but yeah, as I said, lots to say about this, but too much for one little video. This is where I'm going to leave it. Um, hopefully, you guys are as excited as me. Uh, I've seen this all over the internet. There's plenty of people excited. This is the best news all year. 2021, off to a great start already. And, oh yeah, until next time, keep on questing.